All right, good morning, everyone, and thank you so much for coming. Uh, one of the laws of MIT physics is that if you tell people to arrive at a certain time, they arrive five minutes later. And if you change the time, they arrive five minutes later than that. But I figured that we would give a little bit of time for the crowd to settle in uh, while starting now and allowing uh, other guests to, to come in uh, over the course of, of, of the morning sessions. Uh, and therefore, welcome to our 2023 manufacturing at MIT Symposium, Charting the Future of Production in a Time of Shifting Globalization. I'm John Hart from Mechanical Engineering, and along with Professor Suzanne Berger, who will speak next, uh, we are co-leading a working group across MIT, uh, building new programs and partnerships, and hoping to launch a new campus-wide initiative focused on uh, the future of manufacturing. And therefore, today is a very special day for us because it's our second annual symposium. We, our first symposium was May 6 of 2022, uh, and we hope this is one of many future events and activities that the campus community, uh, along with many of you who we are fortunate to work closely with, uh, will come together and contribute to. And we're all here because of a shared interest in manufacturing, where it stands today, where it will go in the future, both domestically here in the US and worldwide. And as you well know, manufacturing drives our daily lives in immeasurable uh, and sweeping ways, from the raw materials used to manufacture pretty much everything in this room besides ourselves and the most sophisticated finished products with semiconductors and uh, medicines, vaccines being uh, just two examples of that. And you know, we, of course, also know that like manufacturing in the US has fallen on hard times over recent decades. And the importance of manufacturing both nationally and globally is intertwined with many other issues. And I feel we realize that as a society in a way that we have not realized that in, in a long time, at least in my own lifetime. And those issues include economic inequality, you know, facing climate change and becoming more sustainable, having a low carbon uh, circular economy, and handling geopolitical instability and the fact that manufacturing and national security are hand in hand and much more. Yet all the while, manufacturing is this incredible engine of our economies. Manufacturing contributes about 15% of global GDP. And in the US, as in many other economies, manufacturers are responsible for the majority of R&D. So manufacturing and innovation go hand in hand. And the dollars invested in manufacturing are not just about the production capacity or the value add of goods produced. But manufacturing, of course, creates jobs directly and indirectly and creates a much larger shadow, a much larger impact on the economy. And myself, being a, an engineer, uh, I believe that Technology frames the future. There are so many exciting, important new technologies today combining hardware and automation, materials, and software and computing that will play an important role in what production looks like this year, next year, 10 years from now, 25 years from now, and beyond. But it's not just all these exciting technologies, and technology is not you know, the only solution. But we must ask. Will these technologies enable new companies, new industries, and new structures of industries? One topic that I'm sure will come up today is whether the foundry-based production model of companies such as TSMC, which is the global leader in advanced semiconductor manufacturing, could apply in other contexts. And does that, in certain cases, lean toward more centralized, vertically integrated production? Or does it lend toward more distributed, modular, localized production or is there a mix of both? And as I alluded to earlier, it's more than technology. It's workforce, it's policy, it's partnerships. And we have 28 incredible speakers who will share their perspective today from the public sector, from industry, from academia, and from the investment community. And hopefully, combining all these perspectives, you all will leave today with an enriched perspective on what the future of manufacturing may look like and what that future means to you and how you and your organization can play a role. And perhaps there is a bright future for advanced production, a new kind of manufacturing in the United States. Thank you. <laughs> 